that's where all of this sort of blanket rules for all yeah. government approach is just yeah. falls yeah. down every time. Yeah, yeah. And, and of course this is where we find ourselves at the moment. We're in this situation where, you know, it's still being drummed at you, you know, eight glasses of water a day, yeah. you know, that you should be eating this, you should be eating that. And it's like it, it, it don't work. And even for the people it does work, it's such a small percentage of their population. Mm. Um, I mean, it makes you wonder why they bother to give out any information in the first place, but I think the trouble is that people give out all the information, don't see the holistic view, mm. they just see the... You but know. you've got a department that its job is to give out information, and if it didn't, it would be out of a job, so therefore... Yeah, jobs were. Yeah. yeah. You know, and you look how... how Eat your five a day has been manipulated. Mm. You know, horrendously. It contains two of your five, five a day. day. You know. Yeah, I mean, it's absolutely. It's not what the original thing was about. It was about having ever as part of your portion. It was the old point was to get people actually eating real food, and it hasn't worked because it's been hijacked by business. Mm. 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 So it all comes back to what you were saying, Becky, is time. Yeah. yeah. Because I'm really determined to make a bit more of an effort around my nutrition, get my mental back in, uh, element back in sort of uh, gear. And it, I spent an hour and a half preparing a lovely meal. I was thinking, before, I just didn't have... You can make the time. I didn't have the energy yeah. to do it. Mm. But I think to myself, right, OK, got to make time. And yeah. we've got to find, we've got to find a, the time. Got to find a way to do it, even if you don't do it every day but making it um, the majority of the times that you do it. You know what I mean? So even if you sort of um, you know, have two days off a week where you have, you know, sort of instant, Mr. Instant food, you know, but then making sure the other times that you do. Mm. And this is what it's like when you're trying to actually talk to somebody to actually mm. get them to improve the way that they, they eat. Is you can't expect people to suddenly make changes. You've got to... Introduce them introducing slowly, things slowly mm. because otherwise they're they're going. If you do it too fast, they're going to feel failure anyway because they're going to fail. Mm. Because it's very very hard to break habits, mm. and one of the biggest habits it's hard to break is your eating habit. Mm. I mean, you look how difficult you found with chewing, yeah. you know, which is the core, whatever. Trying to get yourself to change the way you even chew. You know, you've got to be so mindful. Mm. Yeah, you do, because it's so easy to forget. And, and, exactly. slip back into and you think you think how, how hard that is, you know, and you think, and that's actually probably the, one of the hardest thing to do, mm. actually. Mm. Also, I think there's a, a gender thing here. Uh-huh. Right, my mum goes into a shop, she will pick things up, like you, look in the back and look in the da-da-da-da, and, you know, make her decision. If I go in the shop, boom, boom, boom. Yeah. You know, it's just, that's what I want, we put it in. So there's no, for men, mostly, there is no um, analysis no. At, the, at the purchase stage, yeah. especially with food. It's yeah. like, I want this, and then. So therefore, the whole, is it healthy, you know, yeah. what, how many e-numbers are in it, whatever, we, yeah. don't, we just don't do it. Well, because the, the thing is, I find, fortunately, because with Cy, si, with the mm. sugar, the Adelaide's B, he does look at labels, mm. because he has to check there's no sugar in and stuff. And so he is used to looking at labels. And it's like even, for example, um, we found um, Sainsbury's do quite some quite nice soups. Mm. But there's only three that don't have sugar in. Mm. You know? And you're thinking, why the hell has sh- soup got sugar, sugar in it? Mm. And there it is. And it's not tucked down the bottom of the, of the ingredient. It's then. quite high up the ingredient list. And you're thinking, what? Mm. Mm. You know, so yeah. So by default, he's used to doing. Yeah. But otherwise, yeah, that's not yeah. something you could actually do. Mm-hmm. So training a bloke to be different mm. to training a woman to be different is going to be yeah. different. different. But then it's yeah. also as well is one of the things you have to realise that e numbers, for example, mm. e numbers is just a shorthand for lots of different things, but including things that you would like to see in your food. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So you can't just look at e-number and think, oh, it's got an e-number in it, I won't have it. Mm. Because there are some e-numbers, you know... Oh, that's that's abbreviation. Is yeah. that what you mean? There's lots of things that are, that are e-numbers that actually aren't nasties. Mm. But they've just been given e-numbers as shorthand. So it's like, 
you need to get yourself off the internet, yeah, get a printout of what the E numbers are, mm -hmm. so that you know which E numbers you're avoiding. There are some that they have, the, the, some of the colourings that were noticeably hairy, like the colouring they used to put in fish finger coating, they have stopped doing that now because they were really ADHD, yeah. you know, yeah, and they're really sort of, you know, the kids would definitely go whizzy on that one. But yeah, so it, there are some, that are, but a lot of the bad ones they've actually taken out now. Mm. Like they, with the Smarties, they had to change the colour. Blue, they didn't have the blue one. Did they have the blue one? No, there's one, I had one of them they had to change. That was blue. It was yeah, blue. yeah, mm. because we were, yeah, used to... You see those drinks they drink, slush. This is also an interesting one because, uh, as a bloke, I would like to go into a supermarket. This isn't an ideal bloke world, by the way. Um, <laughs> buy stuff, put it in, get out really fast. Yeah. And the fact that you, you know, when you were going and asking about, saying about the the fructose. Yeah. The fact that I've got to spend more time picking things up makes me angry because somebody else's job is to make sure the food is good for me. I know. And they're yeah. not doing their job. No. And no. why should I be doing their job? I know. And uh, yeah. And their and labels they, have got smaller and smaller yeah. to read the bloody print. And also, the fact, that, my eyes. the fact is that you think that, especially with the marketing that goes on, is mm. you think that something that you know this is highlighted with their smoothies, the marketing that goes on, you think they're good for you. Mm. I mean, I was I was behind somebody in the supermarket yesterday who had a kiddie in the mm. truck, and she was obviously buying stuff for the kid. And there were kids' smoothies and things like that. And I'm thinking, and she thinks she's, that kid's getting one of its five a day. I thought I shudder to think if I picked that up and look at what was on the label. Mm -hmm. You know, but it's like sort of marketing said, this is okay. Yeah. Seen it on the telly, seen it in the magazines. This is okay. It's fixing up, thinking that they're doing their children. You know, they're doing something good for their kids. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm. Well, I'm guilty of that. Yeah, but I mean, everybody yeah. to some extent. But the thing is, it's like, it's like if you don't allow your kids to... to to some extent, have it be exposed to that. Then what happens when they go to a kiddies party? Yeah. You know, this is this is some of the, the issues that come mm. up. Yeah, they've got to build up an they immune system. system. Yeah, but also they've got to be able to function within their peer group. Yeah. There's nothing worse about uh, uh, than a kid being seen as being, you know, an outsider. Because they're not allowed TV that, or they're not allowed. Yeah, you know, you, yeah. you you you've got to have a you've got to have a sort of psychological grown up he sort of hats on this and realise mm. that you don't push things. Yeah. But everything is sort of moderation. Yeah, that's like right. The whole sweets thing, I was very keen for my kids not to have sweets, I just don't see the point in. But all their friends have sweets. And I remember when I was younger, I used to eat sweets once yeah. a week. We yes, that's right. Yeah. So yeah. now I thought, right, I'm bringing back that. You can have sweets once a week yeah. on, a, on a Saturday. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, we're, we're, we say, we're mine. Because then you're teaching the child about boundaries. Yeah, that's right. You know? Oh, good. That yeah. whole thing about in France, you know, you can have wine in this situation, and so the kids learn how to yeah. have wine, whereas we are like... Uh, you know, yeah. you, you, should, you, you, shouldn't, you shouldn't allow your children to have any alcohol whatsoever. But then the trouble is that then they get attracted to the idea of having something they shouldn't have when they're later yeah. on, when they can actually do some damage. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and it, it's, it's, it comes into, that cuts into the sort of the, some of the, the more um, older cultures where kids grow up, where they're taught about this stuff. They, mm. they're, they're not shut away from it. Mm. Mm. They're actually taught how to handle it properly. Mm. I remember my sister being furious with me because I never bought my birth born any sweets. She didn't know what sweets were. Yeah. She thought I was terrible. Yeah. Which is we're saying, was, which is okay when they're really small. When they yeah. start dealing with other kids, like you say, you have to find ways. We yeah. we used to do. I think it was Thursday Thursdays after after tea. Mm. Yeah. You know, there are ways that you say on. A, yeah. yeah. And then it, you know, it's quite nice if you bring it into a, a habit and a routine of what, you, what your kids like to expect. And I think, in a way, I think yeah. that gives them a bit of comfort that they know on yeah. a Friday we yeah. DVD night and on Saturday. Yeah, that's right. And, and it's, 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 all to do, it's all to do with boundaries. It's all to do with creating security. Mm. And, of course, when, you're, you're, when you've got people on either end of the spectrum, you've either got little kids or you've got much older mm. people, Security patterning and what mm. is the thing that makes them feel safe and that allows them to actually feel okay about mm. things. If you haven't got that, then you end up with all sorts. With children, you end up with all sorts of horrible things when they're in their teenage years. If you don't give them that sort of boundary and safety. But then we're into yellow solar plexus, so and if you look at what the issues that you were saying about in terms of control and what's going on, it's mm. the fact that the solar plexus and the yellow 
the ability to think, the ability to you know, discriminate in this gone. area is gone. And, 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 and of course, at this time, you know, this day and age, where we're living now, is that solar plexus, the whole yellow, mm. is completely... It's overwhelmed in one area, like, you know, with internet, yeah. TV, all that sort of thing. Mm. It's overwhelmed in that area. It's completely underwhelmed because people are taking other people's power away, mm. you know, because that's what big business and everything else is doing, take good people's power, power away. And it's like in somewhere in that mess is the person on every level. You know, and of course on a physical level, it's your immune system, it's your digestive system, you know, and it's, um, and, 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 you know, and if those two aren't working properly, and if they're being compromised on the mental and emotional level, they're going to be compromised on the physical. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's, it's uh, that area, the yellow, which is your vitamins, which is, you know, the, and if you're looking at uh, yellow foods, it's that. But if you're looking at the, from the Vedic point of view, solar plexus is colour red. So mm -hmm. you're looking at the red foods, and then you're looking at the minerals. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, so you're looking basically at the body being able to use the core building blocks. And if the food going down there is trash before it starts, mm -hmm. I mean, what chance do people have of, of being strong and powerful mm -hmm. within themselves? You know, and it's very hard, you know, you, and you can't tackle it just one way. You have to also do the psychologists and tackle it, particularly if you've got youngsters, tackle it the other way as well. I mean, fortunately, most older folks are so entrenched in their views, you don't stand a chance of changing any of that. Mm -hmm. You know, when you just realise you can't <laughs> and deal with it, you know. But, yeah. That would also explain then why there are so many kids that kind of lost their way. They don't know what they want in life. Yeah. They're not getting the right water. nutrition. I'm getting water. I'll have some. Yeah. Yes. yeah. There's some, we've got bottled water. You know where ICGT cupboard? You know where our little cupboard at the end of the counter? I'll have a look for that. It's that a bottle right shelf at the, the back. Ah, uh, in the corner? Yeah. Okay, isn't there? Yeah, at the back. Okay. There's some bottled mm. water in there. Yeah, it's... Um, we haven't got that base built no. properly. no. And that's why the older people that I see in the 80s and their 90s, mm -hmm. why they're still so independent yes. and how they've managed, because they did they have did that, have when, that they when they were young. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they also had food that gave them yeah, nutrition. The, the, the root Building chakra, the, the yeah. red mm -hmm. and the orange and the yellow, mm -hmm. they had food that gave them that. So that is, the, that is your, your, um, your basis of the rounded personality. Mm -hmm. well, it might have its stubborn little whatever's going on now yeah. but, the, but the point is the, the building block is in place and the trouble with these kids now is that building block is nowhere to be seen yeah. and we've got a taste of that in this um, question time when you had the oldies and the uh, under 30s because you had this undercurrent with under 30s is that well we did everything you told us to do yeah. and we're screwed we're screwed yeah and therefore the we're very angry at you yeah. rather than actually Part of this was our decision to follow, yeah. you know, yeah. and you say, oh, that's going to get worse. Yeah, and the thing is that they are screwed, and it's like, you know, when, when this generation of old, oldies is gone, is that the, the old folks' homes, like I said before, the old mm. folks' homes, all the pubs that rely on the, the, the oldies for their, their, their lunches, because the people in the generation Ariana and I are, I mean, particularly people mm. of like me who've been self-employed, you know, we're not going to have the pension to be able to spend on that, and we haven't had been able to put away and save to be looked after in super yeah. duper so, old So his shares in saga, that's what you I said. Exactly, <laughs> you know, and, it, and it's like, in, and, and you look at some of the young, you know, especially the, the real under 30s now, I think, I think my Robs, who's what, 32, just about called, got in by the skin of her teeth. But those under the that, I mean, if they want to go to uni, it's going to cost them 40 grand mm. or and some. Mm. And you're thinking, how are they going to get out of that? It they is the, get out of that. Well, it's either that you the, just don't go in. Mm -hmm. But the trouble is that no one's provided an alternative. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And mm, all the education system these days right. is funneling all the people towards that path. Oh, one of the things I am more... Uh, we've got them into jobs. 
And they're doing really, really well. And part of the thing they're doing really well, they don't have this massive debt, and they don't have this qualification that actually doesn't, you know, mean much. Really. So they've got on to really good jobs that have given them a career path, and they're sort of like, they're away. Yeah. And we need more of that. Yeah, but there's also that, that support to enable people to do that. Yeah. Well, they're saying, I was listening on the radio, that people that used to go and do a degree in computing and that kind of thing, actually, that's they don't want that anymore. Yeah. The, the yeah. Microsofts of this world want to get them when they've just left school and they've yes. done their well, that's higher, higher yeah. education yeah. because they don't need that computer, yeah. they don't need a degree yeah. in but it. But also, they, they don't need to have their intuition and their creativity slammed out of them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No. Well, this is one of the things I brought because I had to fight this battle, which was, oh, you don't need people with degrees, and I, I was going for the look from my experience. I would say it depends. Well, okay, it depends yeah. on the subject. But for the, the the role we were doing, it was like mm. you get somebody who's got the right attitude, and then you can teach them anything. Whereas they were like, no, nah, it's going to be a degree. No, that's not going to be a degree. And the successes were we found people, you know by lifting stones and they mm. were the people with the right mm. attitude and usually so grateful. Yeah. But it does make you wonder when you're looking at that age group, like you say, they, they, they've grown up not probably as a, as a collective, not being yeah. fed properly, not, you know, not really having the support, emotional, mental support, and probably in a situation where there's, there's not even been the spiritual... Um, mechanisms there to create any support either. Did you see that um, article from Michael Gove? No. He went holistic because Simon Cowell's gone out there saying that I never went to uni, I never got got any decent grades, you know, you don't need to, or or implying you don't need to, so therefore just hang around you get lucky. Yeah. You have to work for what you want. And and that's what Michael Gove was saying, he was like, how dare you, you know, because, you know, you're just yeah. teaching a, but, a generation. But then, but then you get John Major saying, the chances of anybody who's mm. not been to a public school getting where I got nowadays is zero. Is zero. He left with three O-levels, mm. secondary school, with three O-levels, John Major did. And he said that because everybody in the places that are all public school people, they've got mm. no idea what it's like to come out of an ordinary school mm. and, you know, have, you know... You know, like he did with, with three O's. I mean, how? I mean, the amount of gumption and drive to get yourself mm. from where he got to prime minister is something else. Mm. Absolutely. You know, I must yeah, admit, I didn't realise that. I must take my hat off to him. He yeah. still did yeah. look like a fish out of water on, on a lot of occasions, yeah. didn't he? You know, yeah. and I wonder whether that has yeah. fed into yeah. Yeah. Well, it's the old bit, school. It's the old boys' yeah. network. Yeah. Yeah. It does yeah. make yeah. you wonder. It's mm. like. <coughs> no wonder the, the sort of under thirties are thinking they're screwed. I mean, they're mm. screwed in every, every which way, but mm. they're not yeah. all like that. My, I look at my daughters and their, their friends, and they're in the sort of they're all going turning thirty this year. And my other daughter is twenty seven. They're both university graduates. Mm. Their friends all went to university, mm. and they're all highly successful young people. Yeah. But then they've also come from the same social structure that their parents. Were members of the NCT, they had yeah. good nutrition, yeah. they had I was good say, parenting. Well, it's the same with my, with my kids. It's and and, and there's, yeah. there's, always the, there's always, in each generation, there's a group of people that have had everything that they do need, and then they've got the group that didn't, you know. So yeah. that, that's always been the case, and that's yeah. not going to change, I don't yeah. think, yeah. because of IQ and where people live. But, um, yeah, it's interesting that... You can talk, I can talk with my girls, and they're sort of, oh, I remember when you used to do this, mum, or that, and then they do it themselves. So I think mm. if you're giving them a good grounding, but, but, then, then, but, but then is that their, the ability to, for, you know, for a lot of women now, they have to be in work. Mm. Yeah. They have a family. Yeah, so they have friends do. Yeah, and yeah. it's like, and that becomes, like you say, time mm. becomes a, an issue. Horrendous. Um, you know, about everything then. And, and that's when the food stuff tends to go flying out the window. And I've seen it myself because, you know, I've got friends that have got young kids and are the most well-meaning and balanced views on lots of things, you know. They're, but time is now so 
short that they have to make compromises all over the place. Yeah. Yeah. But you know, in it's that that's a difficult thing to do, making compromises like that, isn't it? Yeah. You know, but so yeah, it really I think it impacts a lot on their sort of self esteem really, you know, that they're not able yes. to do what they really want to do. Yes. Because they can, because they haven't got they actually haven't got the choice anymore. Yeah. And of course that means that the the, the issues to do with the heart chakra and the solar plexus chakra have been taken away. Yeah. And so that that's where your your stress comes. And yeah. of course and of course trouble is with the solar plexus, if you get stressed there, I mean, you know, you're gonna get problems. Blame, yeah. Because we've got, you know, liver, gallbladder, pancreas, spleen. It's a wonder we're still surviving. Yeah, but it, but it, it's just to show you how flexible the human body is. That it would take a lot of, a lot of punishment in most cases. But then also you see that you know that. It's like with your little one, with food sensitivities. You know, sometimes they just arrive with food sensitivities. You're thinking, what? Yeah, where did that come from? You know, yeah, thanks yeah. a lot. Yeah. Yeah. But it's um, funny, but I never used to have a very good diet when I was younger. I was pretty much, you know, come back from school, pizzas, chips, yeah. beans, turkey burgers, you know, yeah. very mm. orange meals. I look at yeah. the orange meal. And sometimes as if I have an orange meal now, which occasionally I do, I love it. Yeah. It kind of takes me back to my childhood. But not very much nutrition then. I yeah. think to myself, how the hell did I get one? Yeah. Now I know I didn't really want to do any work because yeah. I just didn't have anything to really yeah. sustain my brain to work properly. Yeah. So, yeah, so I think yeah. my kids are now catching up with all the stuff yeah. that I... Yeah. Well, my, my, my younger, my younger Rob's, I mean, you just had to have been a, a Facebook to and fro with my other son-in-law because um, he made yesterday broccoli soup with cheese. And, uh, and I, put a, I put a comment, I said, oh, this is part of Robin's staple food when she was small. And this was it. broccoli soup, that's the only gluten she would ever eat, broccoli soup and cheese, roast beef, nothing else, a spaghetti hoops, um, beans and cheese sandwiches. That was her diet until she was about nine. <laughs> and she commented after, because I'd forgotten something, and she said, oh, don't forget, so, 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 so. But yeah. And it was like, it wasn't that I was trying, I, I wanted to get, I refused. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the mm -hmm. only way I could do it so I, I, was, uh, I found a really nice recipe for broccoli soup, and that was the only thing that she would eat. And then did she naturally, <laughs> and when now, she was nine, did she oh, naturally yeah, go? Very gradually, she went through her McDonald's phase, and her whatever phase, and now, you see her preparing food for her family. It's all fresh, mm. you know, it's like, you know, she's got it. But it was interesting watching her go through go through those phases. Well, like you said, she's okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I wonder why yeah, everybody adapts to it these phases. phases. I wonder why they will only eat so Well, foods. maybe they know things that we don't know. Because yeah. I'm now beginning to think when Edward, I try and give him something new, he doesn't want it. I'm like, okay, maybe there's a reason he doesn't want it. And actually, mm. he has oat cakes, he has hummus, he has broccoli. So he has, I mean, he has chicken. Yeah. So actually, out of his quite a limited diet, and goat's cheese he has, it's quite limited, and like, it kind of worries me sometimes. But actually, within it, he's actually getting within it, it, he's within getting it, yeah. what he needs. is a bit mm -hmm. boring as well, and maybe yeah. he'll... But yeah. what I think Sue was saying last time is you're not turning it into a battle. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. therefore, if you're turning it into a battle, you're whacking his solar plexus. Yeah. And, and basically, yeah. Yeah. This, which is what happened to me, because it became a battle. Ah, okay, yeah. thank you for that. Yeah, so that rather, rather than do like I did with Robin, and it was just like, okay, well, we're having so and so, what do you want? You but, know, and he's thinking, well, I've got everything there that she wanted. So, one of the things that she found to say is okay. It's um, hard to hold your ground on that when, oh. with peer pressure. Oh, because yeah. Because I can see people going, oh, so he's only, oh, so you're different for him than are you. But, and you feel like, well, and I feel, feel like I'm justifying oh. why. You know, because I say I don't want to sit here, and we can battle. And what do you do? Do you physically the, make no, them eat it? Because no. you end up like Brian. Yeah. Yeah. Then is that what happened to you? That you that's what happened to my eat. sister, and she yeah. has weight issues now. Yeah. Basically, yeah. from someone you're doing the right thing, and just, just, you know, just ignore it. Go with it. Just go with it. You're yeah. doing the right thing. Or, or you're, like I say, you're making sure he's getting all his core nutrition. He's getting what he needs. Yeah. You know, the, growing. He's getting all his core food. And you think you're fine, that's fine. Okay. But what you don't do is make it an issue because, like you say, you end up with all sorts of other problems afterwards. Yeah, and then, then they'll come out the other side like 
to his daughter, yeah. and then they'll be able yeah. to know who, what they who, want. Who, who, who's who's sa- goes such goes a good baker. She think, she's been thinking of going on dining with me. She's so good with cooking now. You mm-hmm. wouldn't think and think, oh, what do you know? Um, mm-hmm. Because we didn't make it an issue. Mm-hmm. Okay, well that's thank you. I feel the, I feel reinforced. Mm. Yeah, about I mean, what I'm going to yeah, do. you've only got to read. Yeah, and re- I mean, if you look at super nannies and things, so they'll do a thing like that. They will, if a kid doesn't eat it, they'll leave it there and, and you know, till the next meal, till the next meal, till the next meal. But the thing is that 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 is all right in, to some extent. But at the same time, mm. you're still you can with a child over seven, you can probably do that sort of bargaining. But not with a small but one. But not with a small one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I prefer to watch Dr. Tanya Brown, she's more interesting. Yeah, because the child yeah. under seven cannot reason, cannot yeah. weigh up the choices you're given. You don't give them a choice because you're actually stressing them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know? That's what I think a lot of people do these days, is they offer them too many choices. <gasps> too many choices. Yeah, but I know. Yeah, you, just to, say, you just say, well, yeah. this is what we've got. Yeah, pick what you want out. Yeah. Pick what you want I, out of that. If they're hungry, they, they will. will eat. They will eat. Yeah. There is, I mean, there's a certain amount of getting the balance right about giving choices. Mm-hmm. You want them to have, you want them to have a little bit of control over their own life. So I want to pass a bit of yeah. responsibility yeah. to yeah. them, so they can. But in some circumstances, like around food, sometimes I'm realising that. No, no, too just, much choice. Do you want this or this or this? Like, no, they can't. No, no, they, no, no. they won't do it. I just want sweets. You can yeah. have a choice of vegetables. Yeah. That's what I yeah. used to do. What vegetables would you like? Oh. I've got this, this, or this, or this. You know. Yeah. Mm. Oh, they, I don't know what that. Okay. But well, 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 under seven. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Oh, that's interesting about the under seven as yeah. well. Because from a spiritual point of view, kids don't learn till they're seven. They don't <laughs> really <laughs> complete. They don't really sort of disappear after they're about ten or eleven. Well, that's when you really have to start letting go. Right. But you know, but yes, it is like. But they don't really. They're not really all here till they're seven. Oh, really? What you mean? Uh, kind of yeah, they're not the yeah. Other yeah. Well. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're not completely here. So it, 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 you know, if you overstress them before they're seven. Okay. Yeah. You know. You know, the chances of getting a kid grounded in here is, is you know. It's when you get personality disorders, disorders yeah, developing because yeah. they yeah. they're not all there. They're not all here. Oh, I wish I hadn't missed out on these last two weeks. You haven't, they're all recorded. They're all recorded. Oh, yes, no, no, no yes. But it is, but it's like, it's, as soon as you start taking an angelic holistic view, the actual the problems start to disappear. Mm-hmm. Because you're then not trying to do a dietitian's mm-hmm. work. Mm-hmm. You're then not actually really trying to do a, a nutritionist's work. What you're trying to do is just simplify things mm-hmm. and keep things as natural as, as possible. But understanding the pressures that people are under mm. these days and the choices they've got to make in order to get by, really. Mm. Mm. I used to do at the weekend on a Saturday, we would say, right, we'll have a, a special <coughs> meal, what should we do this week? And we'd look at the cookery books and go through and we'd talk about what we want to have as a special meal, make it like a family special meal. Mm. Would you cook it together and stuff yeah. like that? To so have these lovely fantasies about being this perfect mother, who's going to sit easy. and oh, we'll not all easy. cook together and it'll be lovely. I just no. that, uh, that, that animal does not exist. Oh, mm-hmm. thank you, because I do kind of think no, you're not doing no, it right. No. You're doing it. I'm talking sort of twenty odd years ago when my kids yeah. were growing up. Yeah, mm-hmm. but it's also, they, they used to like it. But also, also it doesn't exist. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. a, a perfect and mother don't. The two no. things are yeah. mutually exclusive. And also, that's your stuff. Yeah, and that's when you, you notice you realise you know, what you're you're actually doing. Doing. Yeah. Yes. And I'm realising that no, my no, mother, nobody's like, perfect. for so long, did the best she could I know. with what she had. She had. Yeah. Mm. And poor woman didn't have very much. Yeah. Actually, Even my mother said to me, oh, I'm so sorry I gave you a rotten childhood. I said, you didn't. I said, I'm the person I am because of the way you brought me up. And I, that's who I am. I can't change that, and I wouldn't want to either. Yeah, but it is. It's all to do with it, uh, mm-hmm. as good as you can be. Yeah. Because people don't very rarely deliberately mess up. No. no. And your children chose you to be their man. Thank yeah, you. Cause that, cause that, yes. Yeah, because that's the other side of it. You say, well, yeah. you shouldn't have come to the Yeah, so that's why.